<clears throat> so dear brothers uh, uh, very good evening to you all so we have studied about uh, lots uh, second coming uh, till now what you studied is why jesus uh, second coming is going to come in the general expectations of the second coming and actually how jesus returns uh, at the second coming we have seen and how to identify the invisible lord uh, we have seen from the scriptures uh, that it is only by the signs that we need to identify and the word uh, in matthew 24 is actually parousia and today we are going to see the last part of it uh, the date of his uh, second coming so therefore uh, in matthew 24 chapter uh, disciples uh, asked uh, uh, it was a signs for his uh, uh, presence. So that is the time that uh, Jesus gave many signs. He did not uh, say that uh, I will come directly from the sky, keep on watching the sky. But instead of that one, he said uh, as the sun, uh, you see, uh, rises from the east to the west, uh, as the light shines brightly from east to the west, uh, so shall the, you see, uh, the presence of the son of man be. And that word uh, presence or coming in KJV Bible is actually uh, from the Greek word parousia. And the word parousia actually means uh, a presence in the Bible. Uh, let me see how does it come in your Nepali Bible. Can somebody read here? Matthew 24 3 in Nepali? Brother, you're there on the both of you? Can somebody read it in Nepali? Yes, but uh, wait. Okay, okay. Matthew twenty four three, brother. Correct. Yesu Jaitun Dharama Bosnoda, Chela Ru Ekanta Mahakaha Ay Rasude, Amila Bonos, Ikura Kohile Unetan, the Topaiko Agaman, Rayes Yuka Antoko China Kuneta. Very good. Agaman, correct now? Yes, sir. So Agaman means what? Coming. Coming good. Okay. So if you read it in a Rodraham Bible or any other translation, the word actually is given as presence. So we saw how it is clearly given in the book of Luke, where it mentions that uh, as it was in the days of Noah, so it shall be in the days of the son of man. So that means, uh, as uh, you see, uh, Noah was present uh, during his days. Similarly, uh, Matthew 24 chapter gives clearly, that means uh, the signs, what all things are going to happen when the Lord is present in his days. So Matthew 24 chapter gives a lot of signs to prove that we are living in the presence of his uh, day. Like false Christ shall uh, come. So we already seen uh, many false uh, you see Christians uh, claiming themselves to be the anointed ones and uh, doing a lot of uh, false miracles uh, and false wonders. And we've seen about wars and rumors of wars. Almost uh, in the last decade, this is more than 100 wars have taken place and nation rising against nation, kingdom against kingdom, lot of famine, pestilences, earthquakes. No need to tell me, tell about these things, uh, you see. So yesterday itself, today itself, Indonesia earthquake has happened, in Nepal recently earthquake has happened. So forget about all these things. The great tsunami has happened several times in the past few years. And he also tells about the abomination that make it desolate. We have seen that uh, that is a great uh, antichrist system. So how triple six is calculated? <clears throat> then uh, you see the false uh, prophets and uh, regathering of uh, Israel. So uh, the fig tree, you see, uh, the dry fig tree uh, sprouting again. So these are all the signs. Uh, uh, you see, dear brethren, to prove that uh, we are living in the Lord's uh, presence. So. Uh, apart from that one, we also see the prophecy mentioned in Daniel 12 chapter, where Daniel clearly says that uh, man shall run to and fro and knowledge shall uh, increase. So, a man shall run to, fro, to and fro means what? Can anybody tell me? What is the meaning of manning, man running to and fro? Travel here and there. Very good. So, increase in travel. 
then increase in knowledge means what? Mm -hmm. hmm. Come on, brother, tell me. Increase in knowledge means what is the meaning? Huh? Knowledge for making uh, like scientific things. Yes, inventions. Research. Yes, very good. Scientific things uh, increase in wisdom. You see, increase in understanding. So, a lot of uh, innovations uh, are coming. So, these are all uh, a beautiful sign that uh, we are living in the, you see, Lord's day. So, so mankind is traveling quite fast, you see, and is traveling to space. Nowadays, is traveling to Mars, is traveling to, you see, moon. So, all those things. Uh, and uh, increase in knowledge means what? Uh, uh, the telephones, the electricity, the bulb, uh, the mobile phones, the laptops, the computers, uh, you see. Whichever field uh, you take, uh, these are all the inventions of the presence of the Lord's day. Good. Then, apart from that one, we saw also saw that uh, the Lord will bring uh, the hidden things to light uh, during uh, his day. That means uh, a lot of, uh, you see, uh, corruption having uh, and taking place uh, in various places. Uh, you see, so all the, uh, you see, uh, scandal uh, is uh, revealed uh, uh, nowadays. Uh, so this uh, itself is a proof. Uh, you see, we take it in whichever country. What all uh, corruption, uh, big, big, uh, you see, bureaucrats uh, have done are all coming to light. Uh, let it be any murder uh, committed in uh, secret, uh, you see, and the theft, uh, drug, uh, drug scandal, corruption. So all these things are coming to light. So, these are all the signs of the Lord's presence. Okay, good. Now, till now, what we studied is that how Jesus is going to come, why Jesus is going to come, and uh, when uh, he is going to come, today we are going to see. So, dear brethren, so if you see in the Bible, uh, when seeing uh, the uh, times are hidden in the Lord's hand, you see, it is the Lord's, uh, you see, grace uh, to hide the things, uh, but it is uh, the Lord's grace also to reveal the things also. Isn't it? So let us read Job 24, 1, brother. Can you read, brother? Job 24, 1? Job 24, 1, brother. Can you read from the Bible, brother? Job 24, 1. And 24, 1, brother. Why? Seeing times are not hidden from the Almighty. Do they that know him not see the see his days? Very good. See, why seeing the times are not hidden, you see, from the Almighty. So, Almighty God knows definitely the time and it is in his hand. And uh, so will the Lord reveal it to anybody? Yes, he will reveal these things to the kings. Read Proverbs 25, 2, brother. Proverbs 25, 2, brother. Huh? It is the glory of God to cancel a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. See, the glory of the God to conceal a things, to hide a things. But uh, you see, honor of the kings to search it out. Now, who are these kings? God has made us kings and priests through our Lord Jesus Christ. And moreover, Jesus himself is the king of kings. It is through those king of kings that Lord has revealed all these things to us. Therefore, where is it given? If you see, dear brethren, the Bible says, uh, you see, search the scriptures uh, for none shall want her mate. So, all the things uh, we need to search the answer from the scriptures, uh, it is given in the book of Bible. So, how these dates are uh, traced, we are going to uh, trace it in three types. First is the prophecy, next is the time prophecy, and the third is the Bible chronology. Okay. So, first is the prophecy. So, where does the prophecy say that uh, Lord would return in these days? It's mentioned to us in Daniel 2.44, brother. Can you read, brother? Uh, home brother or Gopal brother, can you read Daniel 2.44? Sure, brother. Daniel 2.44 hmm. And in the days of this king shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, 
and the kingdom shall not be left to all the people but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever you see it says in the days of this king in the days of which king you have read the, the class about daniel second chapter the four kingdoms that are mentioned there are uh, you see babylon medo persia greece and the roman empire when our lord lived on this earth during the first advent it was the roman emperor that was ruling the whole world it says it is during the days of these king that means the these emperors who are ruling you see dear brethren that a god of heaven will set up his kingdom that means when these kings are still ruling the god of heaven shall destroy all these kingdoms and establish his kingdom therefore today we are living in that day the kingdoms of this world are being destroyed so day by day you can see in the entire world the leaders of all nations are crushed to pieces isn't it so none of the leaders have power you see they seem to be having power but actually none of them are actually having the power so it is the, uh, the prophecy of the bible that uh, during these days the lord shall establish his kingdom let us read psalms 110 brother psalms 110 ഫൈവ്രദർ 110 110 110 5 110 5 110 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 5 110 
Babylon, Medo Persia, then Greece and Rome. So it is the time period which God had given to these Gentile kingdoms to rule. Therefore, if you say, dear brethren, it uh, began from Babylon till the end of the foot. You see, and what is the time which God had given? God, when gave the law to the people of Israel, he said, you need to obey my laws. You need to be obedient to my laws. And if you are obedient and obey my laws, then I will be, you see, blessing you. But if you don't obey my laws and disobey it, then I will bring a curse upon you and punish you seven times. So God said that Israel is going to be punished seven times. Let us read Leviticus 26, brother. Leviticus 26, 18. Leviticus 26, 28. Leviticus 26, verse 28, brother. Verse 18. First read verse 18. Uh. And if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. See? Seven times. Huh? So, God said, I will punish you seven times. This seven times is repeated four times in the Leviticus 26 chapter. Verse 18 you read. Read verse 21, brother. And if you wa walk contrary unto me, and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins. See? Seven times. Now read again in verse 24. Then will I also walk contrary unto you, and will punish you yet seven times for your sins. See? Seven times. Now read verse 28 with that. Huh? Then I will walk contrary unto you also in fury, and I, even I, will chastise you seven times for your sins. See? Seven times. So, why did God repeat four times means? This is for the confirmation that these seven times are going to be not small penalty, small punishment, but it's going to be a very big punishment. And what is going to happen during those uh, seven times? It is given in verse 34 and verse 35. Then shall the land enjoy her Sabbath as long as it lieth desolate, and ye be in your enemy's land. Even then shall the land rest and enjoy her Sabbaths. As long as it lieth desolate, it shall rest, because it did not rest in your Sabbath when you dwelt upon it. See? So punishment is that when it is handed over to the Gentiles, the land shall enjoy our Sabbath, it seems. So after this one, Israel shall be regathered, it seems. When you are free, you kindly read the rest of the chapter. He says, for the covenant which God had made with the forefathers, God will remember Israel and regather them, it seems. Uh, you can read verse 45, brother. Uh. But I will for their sakes remember the covenant of their ancestors, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt in the mm -hmm. sight of the heathen, mm -hmm. that I might be their God I am the Lord. Mm, that I may be their God. The friend of the heathen. You see, so that God may be glorified. So, this uh, seven times means what in the Bible? If you see, seven times means actually seven years. How, we, how, we, how do we recognize? Is it given in the Bible? Yes. It's given in the book of Daniel. Daniel you see, King Nebuchadnezzar huh, will be punished by the Lord, you see, and uh, he will be cast away into the forest because of pride. And when he was in the forest, you see, God said, 
seven times shall go upon you. Read that verse in Daniel 4 chapter, verse uh, uh, 25, verse 25. Oh, home brother, you are there? Daniel 4, 25, brother. Yes, I am. Uh, uh, verse 16, read, brother. Read verse 16. It's clearly given there. Read verse 16. Hmm. For verse 16. Correct. Let his heart be changed from man, and let a beast's heart be given unto him, and let seven, seven times pass over him. Mm, let seven times pass over him. You see, he said, Take out the man's heart and give him a beast heart. So this literally got fulfilled in the days and the life of Nebuchadnezzar, where he was uh, cast away into the forest. And uh, he lived for seven years in the forest like a beast, eating, uh, you see, grass as an ox. Read verse 32, brother. It's given in verse 32. Uh, verse 31 and 32. Hmm. While the word was in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven, saying, O King Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken, the kingdom is departed from thee, and they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field, they shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and seven times shall pass over thee, mm. until thou know that the Most High ruled in the kingdom of men, and given give it to whomsoever he will. See, what happened was that uh... You see, dear brethren, seven times passed over immediately. Immediately he was cast into the forest and seven times passed over him. So seven times is what? Uh, actually, seven years uh, Nebuchadnezzar was in the forest uh, eating, uh, uh, you see, grass like a, uh, you see, animal like an ox. And after seven years, uh, he realized his mistake and God granted him the grace. And he again, uh, you see, uh, he was restored uh, his kingdom. So here we come to know what is the meaning of seven times. So seven times is what? Seven years. Okay. Now in one year, how many days are there? 365. 365. That is in our calendar. What about the biblical calendar? 316. Very good. 360 days. Okay. Good. So we have studied in the period of Antichrist also. So in biblical year, one year means uh, 360 days. In one month, uh, 30 days. Okay. Now, seven year means how many days? If you see, 360 into seven, we will get 2520 days. This is what actually God said that uh, the times of Gentiles shall be seven times means, you see, seven years. This is not literal seven years. Uh, nor uh, 2520 days is a little 2520 days or years uh, because for a prophet uh, one day means uh, how many years uh, for a prophet one year one year where is it given Ezekiel 4 6 6 kindly read brother Ezekiel 4 6 read brother anybody can read Ezekiel 4, 6. Mm. And when thou hast accomplished them, lie again on thy right side, and thou shalt bear the iniquity of the house of Judah forty days. I have appointed thee each day for a year. See? Each day for a year. Therefore, for a prophet, one day means one year. So, 2520 days means what? It is actually 2520 years. So when it began 
and when it ended, if you see, it began with, uh, you see, Nebuchadnezzar coming to power. That is the destruction of uh, uh, Jerusalem. And when did that happen? If you see, it happened in 606 BC. You see, BC, before Christ. Now, 2520 years minus 606 BC, how much you will get? 1914. 1914. Very good. So, 1914, actually what happened, if you see, the Gentile power ended. The Gentile times ended. That means the Gentiles' power over the land of Israel ended. What did Jesus say in the prophecy? You see, the Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. You know what happened in 1914? In 1914, the Israel land, which was under the Gentile rule of the British Empire, was restored back to Israel. How? In 1914, what happened? Can anybody tell me what happened? 1914. Home brother, can you tell me? 1914, where very important thing happened. Very famous thing. Hmm? Gopal brother, you know? Do you know? Independence, brother? Uh, no, 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 no. 1914? No, oh, Israel was... Israel uh, country was formed. Uh, Israel country was formed in May 14, 1948. Anyway, in uh, 1914, first world war happened. You see? World war. It is uh, declared in the Bible. This is speaking about the first world war. Daniel 2.44. You see? The stone came and hit at the feet of the image. So what happened? The feet of the image hit. The entire structure fell down. That means the entire world was crushed in the first world war. There was so many wars that was happened. But none of the wars were called as world war. Because the entire world was involved in that war. So... Where you see in Daniel second chapter, the stone came and hit that the Gentile powers. So what happened? 1914, the powers began to be crushed. Psalm 110, verse 5, it says, in the days of his wrath, he shall spike the kings. So he smote. In 1914, you see, dear brethren, the first world war, this is the biblical prophecy. So this is a prophecy to prove, a time prophecy to prove that uh, we are living uh, in the Kingdom of our Lord since 1914. Okay. Now let us see one more prophecy. Okay. And uh, one more prophecy is given. Um, in the Bible chronology. Okay. I haven't taken this uh, class to you, but uh, we will see. Uh, about the Bible chronology now. Okay. Bible chronology gives the exact period from the creation of Adam till the second advent of Jesus Christ. Okay. So we're going to see how this is calculated. After the class, I'll be sending the notes of the Gentile times as well as uh, the Bible chronology to you. You can please go through it so that uh, we can get more clarity. Okay, brother. Is it okay for both of you? Okay, brother. Home brother, is it okay? Okay, sir. Okay, good. Sorry. Okay, this uh, Bible chronology is actually divided into eight parts for the easy of uh, convenience to calculate. Okay? And the first part is actually from the creation of Adam till the flood. Okay? How? From the creation of Adam till the flood. Okay? Now, this is actually a period of 1,656 years. Okay, from creation of Adam till the flood. Uh, you want me to calculate and show it to you? How is it possible? Or else you can do it. I'll send you the notes. You can calculate and do it. You want to do it or we'll do it now? Can you please give us a clue? Yeah, so, so it costs. Ah, good. Okay, good, good, good. One minute and I'll show it for you. Not a problem. One minute. I'll open that PowerPoint to you. One minute.
Okay. Okay. So we'll see how the calculations goes on. Okay. See, Adam, after he was created, uh, he had so many sons. Uh, you see, the who was the first son of Adam? Tell me, who was the first son of Adam? Cain and Abel. Very good. Abel and Cain. But uh, Abel was killed by Cain. So Cain, what happened? He went off from the presence of his father and tried to live separately. So immediately what happened? That generation is not given. Okay? But instead of that one, the other generation of Seth is given to us in the Bible. Okay? Now let us read uh, Genesis 5.3, brother. Genesis 5.3. Uh. Genesis 5 3. Hmm. And Adam lived an hundred and thirty years and begat a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. Very good. So, from the creation of Adam, after 130 years, who is born? Seth, his son, is born. Now, let us take this one. Okay. Now, after this one, after the birth of Seth, Adam lived for more 800 years. That is not uh, important for us. Why that is not important? After the death of Adam, who was born, that information is not given for us. That is incomplete. So, instead of considering that period, what we are going to do is that after Seth was born, you see, what happened to Seth? Who was born to Seth at how many years? If we take that one, we will get the chain link of the genealogy. You understood clearly? We will get the chain link of the genealogy. I'll show you an example. See, read Genesis 5, 6, brother. Oh, brother, uh, I hope you are able to concentrate. Okay, read Genesis 5, 6, brother. Huh? And Seth lived in an hundred and five years and bigger, you know, very good, Buddha. See what happened? Adam begat Seth at the 130 years. And Seth, from then, after 105 years, he begat, you know, so we're getting the correct uh, link. Understood, no, brother? So this is how we need to calculate the chronology. Go for brother, home brother, you're clear? Yes, brother. Yes. Uh, okay, or I'll repeat it. Yeah. Gopal brother, you're clear? Yes, brother. Home brother, you're clear? I don't get it. <laughs> you didn't get it? Huh? Yes. Okay, see, how do we calculate uh, uh, the life, uh, the family uh, tree or the genealogy, the, the, the chain link from Adam to Noah? How many years are there? How do we calculate? There are two ways to calculate. Okay. One is from Adam till his death. And after his death, what happened? If we take it into account, we will come to know exact period from Adam till the flood. Correct, no brother? Yes, brother. Okay. Home brother, did you understood this one? Home brother, I I want your answer because this is very important. If you're if you're not interesting, we'll repeat it, not an issue. So unmute, keep it unmute only. You react immediately. Home brother, did you get it? I did. How did she say? I'm sorry. Repeat again. See, clean. Listen. Don't don't mute it. Leave it like that only. See, we are calculating the period from Adam. Till the flood, from the creation of Adam till the flood. So that link is not exactly clear. That means when Adam was born, when Adam died, and after his death, what happened? Who was born? That link is not given correctly. That means this way we can't calculate. So we need to calculate in the other way. 
So which is the other way? The other way is that Adam was created and after so many years, his son was born. Okay? Mm -hmm. We take that period. Now next, to that son, a son was born after so many years. So if you take this period, what is happening from Adam to his next generation? How many years has happened? We can cleanly calculate. One link, other link. One link, other link. We are able to cleanly connect it. Okay? Okay. Now you try to understand. You see the PowerPoint. I'll give you one. You will be able to understand. Okay? See, you know what happened? Adam was created. After 130 years, Seth was born. Okay? Yes. Now, to Seth, after 105 years, who was born? Enos was born. So now in this period, we got the period from Adam till Enos. Yes. Uh, okay. So that is how we are going to continue calculating. Okay. Now let us read one more verse. Sir. Genesis 5 9, brother. And Enos lived 90 years and we got Kai. Kain. We got Kainan. So what happened? From Adam till Kainan, we got the period. Okay? Now next. Now next, what we should calculate? From Kainan to his son. That is Mahalel. How many years? If you see, it is 70 years. Genesis 5.12. Gopal, brother, you are able to follow? Yes, brother. Okay, okay. Read, brother. Uh, somebody read, brother. Genesis 5.12, brother. Huh? Genesis 5.12 and Canaan lived 70 years and begat Mahalalel. Very good. Begat Mahalalel. So, 70 years. Now, from Mahalalel, again we need to calculate for, to his son. His son is Jared. Now, what age did Jared was born? Genesis 5.15. Hmm. And Mahalalel Lived 60 and 5 years and we got Jared. Very good. See, at 65 years, uh, Jared was born. That means now you got a getting the period from Adam till Jared. Uh, see, the period is continuing. Uh, now, next up. So, Jared, uh, Enoch was born at the age of 162 years. Genesis 5 18, brother. Uh, read over, brother. And Jared lived an hundred sixty and two years, and he begat Enoch. Very good, hundred sixty-two years. Now next, so Enoch, Methuselah was born at sixty-five years. Genesis five twelve five twenty-one, brother. And Enoch lived sixty and five years and begat Methuselah. Very good, very good. That's sixty-five years. Some Methuselah. Lamech was born at 187 years. Genesis 5.25, brother. Huh? And Ma, Ma, Methuselah lived at 187 years. And we got Lamech. Very good, brother. Now, to Lamech, Noah was born at 182 years. Genesis 5.28, brother. Huh? And Lamech lived at 180 and 2 years. Very good. So, 182 years and we get Noah. Son. Very good. We get his son, Noah. Okay. Now, we got the period from Adam till Noah. Now, this period, we are going to calculate not till Noah, but till the flood. Till the year when the flood came. Okay. Now, for this one, no need for us to calculate at what age Shem Ham and Japheth was born. You understood? There is no need for us to calculate at what age Shem Ham Japheth was born. Instead of that one, we can directly calculate at what age the flood came. Get now? At what age of Noah the flood came, if you calculate, if you take that years, that itself is sufficient. You got it, brother? Oh, brother, go for brother, clear? Mm, yes, brother. Okay. Now let us read. 
Genesis 7, 6, brother. Huh? Genesis 7, 6. And Correct. Noah was 600 years old when the flood of waters was upon the earth. Very good. So, it was at 600 years of uh, Noah that the flood came. So, this period, Adam till the flood is completely given to us. Now, if we calculate, I'll send the notes to you. You can see the calculation also. Home brother, okay? I'll send the notes. You can see the calculation. If you calculate the entire thing, you know, we get a period of 1,656 years. 130 plus 105 plus 90 plus 70 plus 65 plus 162 plus 65 plus 187 plus 182 plus 600. Okay? So, we get a period of 1,656 years. This is the first period from Adam till the flood. Okay? Now, second period. Okay? Now, second period, we are going to see from the flood till the covenant with Abraham. Okay? Now, before going to this one, we need to understand when did God make the covenant with Abraham? When he offered the sacrifice of Isaac, did God make the covenant? If you see, no. When he left his father's land, when he set his foot on the promised land, that time itself, the covenant with Abraham was sealed. And when did that happen? If you see in the Bible, it happened when his father Tera died. The day, the same year when Tera died, immediately Abraham shifted to the promised land. And that is the time that, uh, you see, uh, the covenant between uh, uh, Abraham and God was sealed. Okay? Now let us read. This one is uh, given to us in uh, um, uh, Acts of the Apostles, 7 chapter, verse 2 to 5. <coughs> Come on, brother, can you read? Acts 7, 2 to 5. Sure, brother. And he said, Men, brethren, and fathers, hearken, the God of glory appeared unto our father Abraham when he was in Mesopotamia, before he dwelt in Charon, and said unto him, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred, and come into the land which I shall sow thee. Then come he out of the land of the Chaldeans and dwelt in Charon, and from thence, when his father was dead, he removed him into this land wherein ye now dwell. Very and good. Uh, see what happened once his father died, he came into this land where you dwell. That means, as soon as his father died, he immediately entered the promised land. Okay, now in this period, we need to see from the flood to Terah's death. Or uh, from the flood till the covenant with Abraham. Both are same. Okay. Now, how do we see? See, I'll show it to you. See what happened after the flood? Noah had three sons. Correct now? Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now, after the flood, what happened? We should see. Let us read Genesis 11 10, brother. You see what happened after the flood. Genesis 11 10. These are the generations of Shem. Shem was an hundred years old and begot our project two years after the flood. Very good, brother. Two years after the flood. But brother, home brother, did you get it? So two years after the flood, Arpaxad was born. Same as we calculated in the first time, brother. Home brother, you're there? You're clear? Yes. Good. Okay. Now, we came till the flood. After the flood, two years, Arpaxad is born. Now, same thing we need to continue. The next, what happened? Genesis 11, 12. And Arpaxad lived five hundred five and thirty years and begot Selah. Very good, brother. See, Selah was born at the age of 35 years. Same thing. Again, now to Selah, uh, at 30 years, 
His son was born. Genesis eleven fourteen. And Sarah lived thirty thirty years and bore Eber. Very good, brother. So, at the age of 30 years, you see, eh? Eber was born. Again, to Eber, at the age of 34 years, Peleg was born. Genesis 11, 16, brother. And Eber lived four and 30 years and begot Peleg. Very good. Oh, brother, uh, I hope you are able to follow. Yes. Good. Okay. Now, for Peleg, Ru was born at the age of 30 years. Genesis 11, 18, brother. And Peleg lived 30 years and we got very. Very good. Now, for Ru, Serug was born at the age of 32 years. Genesis 11, 20. And Reu lived 20 and, three, 20 and 30 years, 2 and 30 years, and we got Serug. Very good. 2 and 30 years means 32 years. Good. Now, for Serug, Nahor was born at the age of 30 years. Genesis 11, 22, brother. Huh? And Serug lived 30 years and begot Nahor. Very good. So 30 years. Now, for Nahor, Terah was born. Terah is Abraham's father at the age of 29 years. Read, brother. Genesis uh, 11, 24. Huh? And Nahor lived 9 and 20 years and begot Terah. Very good, brother. 9 and 20 years. So, now, again, here, we don't need to calculate at what age, you see, Terah's son, Abraham, Nahor, or Aran was born. Instead of that one, we can directly calculate how many years no Terah lived. You see, we'll get the period from flood till the death of Terah. As soon as Terah died, Immediately, Noah, sorry, immediately Abraham entered Canaan land and God made the covenant with Abraham. So, this period, you see, is actually a period of 205 years. Sarah died at the age of 205 years. Genesis 11 32, brother. Huh? And the days of Terah were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran. There are died in Aran. Very good. Now, this period, if you calculate, it is a period of 427 years. Same as first. See, two years plus 35 plus 30 plus 34 plus 30 plus 32 plus 30 plus 29 and 205 years. You will get a period of 427 years. Okay. Now, see, this is the second part. Now, let us come to the next third part. That is, from the covenant with Abraham to the law. Okay? It is, the period is, this is very easy because this is given in only in uh, one verse in the Bible. And the first law, we all know, God gave to the people of Israel is the law of the Passover. Okay? Even before they came to Mount Sinai, even when the people of Israel were in Egypt, God gave them the law of the Passover. You see? The Passover was under the law. Correct, no? Yes, brother. Yes. So, how, where did they celebrate? Even before they getting the Ten Commandments at Mount Sinai, God had already given this law to the people of Israel in Egypt. Okay? Now, this period, Apostle Paul clearly tells that it is a period of 430 years. Read Galatians 3.17, brother. Oh, brother. You're able to follow? Yes, Galatians. Galatians 3.17, brother. Hmm. Read, brother. Anybody read? Gopal, brother, home, brother. Anybody read? And this I say, that the covenant that was confirmed before of God in Christ, the law, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul that it should make the promise of non effect. See, the law which was given 430 years after the promise, that means from the promise to Abraham till the law, it is how many years? 430 years. Got it? 
Yes, brother. This is very clear. Now, next, what happened when the people of Israel came out of uh, Egypt? They traveled to Mount Sinai. Correct? Now, everybody knows this one. And this period is actually a period of one year, one month, five days. Okay? They actually took one year to travel from Egypt till Mount Sinai. Okay, brother? You can note down these verses. I'll send the notes to you. You can refer it. Okay, brother. Oh, home, brother. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is one year. Okay, one year, one month, five days. This is, you can round it up to one year. Okay. Now, next, what happened? If you see, they came after taking the law, they came at the border of Canaan, but uh, nobody except the two, Joshua and Caleb, everybody brought a bad report saying, if you go to the land of Canaan, there are giants. They will kill us. So there what happened? God punished them for 40 years. They were wandering in the land of uh, uh, Sinai. That means in the desert of Sinai for how many years? 40 years. This punishment God gave to them. Okay now? Clear now? This is also verses there. Number 32nd chapter 8 to 13 is given. Uh, you can read it later. Okay brother? Okay brother. Now after this one what happened? Again, they came at the border of Canaan, the promised land. And this time, Joshua was the leader. He went into the land of Canaan. He conquered the entire Canaan by, king, by destroying all the kings. And this one was a period of five years. Okay? Now, how do we come to know that this period of five years? Let us read Joshua 14 chapter. Joshua 14, chapter verse 7. Joshua 14, chapter verse 7, brother. Om, brother, Gopal, brother. Joshua 14, 7. Hmm. Joshua 14, 7. 40 years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kades, Kades Bar Nye to spy out the land and thank you I okay 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 thank you see here Caleb says that Moses when he sent me to spy the land what was my age 40 years correct now correct now brother home brother go brother correct now yes brother yes home brother clear huh? Um, brother, you're there? He's telling that he's not able to hear you, brother. Oh, 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 you know, see the chat. Okay, okay. Okay, I think network issue. Okay. Uh, um, brother, you can uh, read the notes or uh, see the recording. Uh, okay. Uh, see, now, after conquering the entire land, what was the age of Caleb? Read verse 10, brother. Huh. And now, behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said, this forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness, and now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. See? Now, what was the age? Four score and five. Four score and five means 85. Now you tell me 85 huh? minus 40. How much you will get? Forty-five. Very good. So 45. So 40 years in the wilderness if you minus? Five years. Very good. Five years. So five years is the period they came to the land of Canaan and conquered it. So the summary we'll see. From Egypt till Mount Sinai, one year. Okay? From Mount Sinai to wilderness, 40 years. Okay, brother? Mm -hmm. Then, after the wilderness, conquering the promised land, five years. 
So totally, how much it became? Forty-six years. Very good. Forty-six years. Okay. So this is the, you see, uh, the third part. The fourth part. Yeah. Sorry. The fifth part is the period of judges. This is also very clear. It is given in one verse. Uh, read Acts thirteen twenty, brother. Uh. And after that, he gave unto them judges about the space of four hundred and thirty years. Very good. See, four hundred and fifty years period of judges. Correct, right, now. So, how many? How much is the period? Four fifty years. So after judges, what happened? God gave them the king. Who is the first king? King Saul, David, and Solomon. Bo all the three kings ruled for forty, forty, forty years. Okay, brother. I'll send the notes. Sir. You can read the scriptures later. Okay, Acts thirteen twenty one, First Chronicles twenty nine twenty seven, and Second Chronicles nine thirty. So these three kings ruled for forty years each. After death of Solomon, what happened? The Israel was divided into two parts. Two tribes came one part. Ten tribes came one part. Now in this one, God choose. The tribe of Judah, not the tribe of Israel. Okay, so while considering the chronology, we need to consider the period of kings of kingdom of Judah. Now, how much is it? How do we calculate? This is very easy. You see, Saul forty years, David forty years, Solomon forty years. We've seen. Now, next, what happened? Rehoboam was the son of Solomon. He ruled for seventeen years. Second Chronicles twelve thirteen, brother. Read, brother. Second Chronicles twelve thirteen. Hmm. Second Chronicles twelve thirteen. Home, brother. You are if you are able to listen uh, clearly my audio, you can also read the Bible. Or else, go for brother. You can read. Second Chronicles twelve thirteen. So King Rehoboam strengthened himself in Jerusalem and reigned. For Rehoboam was one and forty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned seventeen years in Jerusalem, the city which the Lord had chosen out of all the tribes of Israel to put His name there. And Very good. Father... Okay, thank you. He ruled how many years, brother? Seventeen years. Seventeen years. Ah, okay. So after his rule, Abijah ruled for three years. Second Chronicles thirteen two. Hmm. He reigned three years in Jerusalem. Very good. So Abijah ruled for three years. Next Asa ruled for forty one years. Second Chronicles sixteen thirteen. Hmm. And Asa slept with his fathers and died in one and fortieth year of his reign. Very good. One then forty-eight means forty-first year. So forty-one years. Next, Jehoshaphat ruled for twenty-five years. Second Chronicles twenty thirty-one. And Jehoshaphat reigned over Judah. He was thirty and five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty and five years in Jerusalem. Very good. Twenty-five years. Next, Jehoram reigned for. Eight years. Second Chronicles twenty one twenty. Thirty and two years old was he when he began to reign. Very good. Hmm. Continue. Reign. Uh, reign in Jerusalem eight years and departed without. Very good. He ruled for eight years. Good. Now next Ahaziah ruled for one year. Second Chronicles twenty two two. Forty and two years old was Asazi, Ahaziah when he began to reign, and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. Very good, one year. Next, Atalia ruled for six years. Second Chronicles twenty two twelve. And he was with them hid in the house of God six years, and Athaliah reigned over the land. Very good for six years. Next, Jehoash ruled for forty years. Second Chronicles twenty four one. 
Joas was seven years old when he began to reign, and he reigned forty years in Jerusalem. Very good. After this, Amaziah ruled for twenty-nine years. Second Chronicle twenty-five-one. Home brother, I hope you are able to listen. You are able to follow. Home brother. Okay. Go, brother. Continue. Amaziah was twenty and five years old when he began to reign. And he reigned twenty and nine years in Jerusalem. Very good. Next, Uzziah ruled for fifty-two years. Second Chronicles twenty-six three. Mm. Sixteen years old was Uzziah when he began to reign, and he reigned fifty and two years in Jerusalem. Very good. Next, Jotham ruled for sixteen years. Second Chronicles twenty-seven one. Jotham was twenty and five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned sixteen. Years in Jerusalem. Very good. Next, Ahaz ruled for sixteen years. Second Chronicles twenty-eight one. Ahaz was twenty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. Very good. Next, Hezekiah, King King Hezekiah ruled for twenty-nine years. Second Chronicles twenty-nine one. Hezekiah began to reign when he was five and twenty years old, and he reigned nine and twenty years in Jerusalem. Very good. Nine and twenty-nine. Twenty means twenty-nine. So next, Manasseh ruled for fifty-five years. Second Chronicles thirty-three one. Manasseh was twelve years old when he began to reign, and he reigned fifty and five years in Jerusalem. Very good. Next, Ammon ruled for two years. Second Chronicles thirty-three twenty-one. Ammon was. Two and twenty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned two years in Jerusalem. Very good. Next, uh, Jehoash, king, ruled for thirty-one years. Second Chronicles thirty-four one. Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned in Jerusalem one and thirteen years. Very good. One and thirty means thirty-one years. Next, Joachim ruled for eleven years. Second Chronicles thirty-six five. Jehoiakim was twenty and five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned eleven years in Jerusalem. Very good. Next, uh, last king Zedekiah ruled for eleven years. Second Chronicles thirty six eleven. Zedekiah was one and twenty years old when he began to reign, and reigned eleven years in Jerusalem. Very good. So total how much if we come five hundred and thirteen. Can calculate. I'll send the notes. Okay, go through it. Any doubts you can ask me. So find in thirteen years total. So after this period of kings, what happened? If you see, the people of Israel were taken captivity. Leviticus twenty six chapter. He said, "No, the land will enjoy a Sabbath. How many years? That is period of seventy years. That is given in Second Chronicles thirty six chapter." Second Chronicles thirty six chapter verse twenty and twenty one, brother. Huh. And them that had escaped from the sword carried he away to Babylon, where they were servants to him and his sons until the reign of the kingdom of Persia. See, Babylon. Babylon means that image, head of gold. See, Gentile times started. I told you no. Huh. So what happened immediately? Twenty-one. Huh? To fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah, until the land had enjoyed her Sabbath for as long as she lay desolate and kept Sabbath to fulfill three score and ten years. See, three score and ten years means seventy years. So seventy years, the land enjoyed the Sabbath. Okay, these are all very elaborate subjects. These are some uh, separate subject is there for seventy years also. We're going to see in the future, uh, God willing. Okay. But now we will come to the point. So the period of captivity, the where the land was desolate, was period of seventy years. Now after seventy years, what happened? Cyrus king ruled and immediately set the Jewish people free and told them to go and build the temple at Jerusalem. Read next verse for them. Huh. Now in the first year of Cyrus king of Persia. That the word of the Lord spoken by mouth of Jeremiah 
might be accomplished. The Lord stirred up and spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and put it also in writing, saying, Can you see also, brother? Mm, continue, brother. Thus said Cyrus, king of Persia, all the kingdoms of the earth had, had the Lord God of heaven given me, and he had charged me to build him an house in Jerusalem which is in judah who is there there among you of all his people the lord his god be with him and let him go up okay he commanded to build a temple in jerusalem and, and which was this year if you see the first year of king of cyrus is 536 years as per the history record see you can see so much of a dictionary which clearly mentions that the first year of the king Cyrus is 536 BC. That means from Cyrus first year to 81 is actually a period of 536 years. That, what, that is what the meaning of 536 BC. Okay. Now let us come to the summary. Kindly listen carefully. See, the first period, what did you see? From creation of Adam till the flood, 1656 years. Next, from the flood till the covenant with Abraham or his father, Terah's death is a period of 427 years. Next, from the covenant with Abraham or his father, Terah, died to the law. That means the first Passover is a period of 430 years. From the law to the distribution of the promised land, where they came to first to Mount Sinai, took the law, 40 years wilderness, went to the promised land, is a period of 46 years. Now, period of judges, 450 years. Period of kings, 513 years. The period of desolation, or they were in captivity, that is 70 years. Then, from the desolation, that is the first year reign of Cyrus, to 180 is 536 years. So, total, how much you will get from the creation of Adam till 81 is 4,128 years. That means what we have seen. 4,128 years from the creation of Adam till AD 1. And from then till today, it is 2,022 years. So, how much total? Both together, how much it will come? Both together, how much it will come? Brother, how much it will come? Gopal, brother, 4,128 plus 2,022, how much it will come? 6,050. 6,050. Correct, calculately, correct, calculated correctly. 6,150. Very good, brother. 6,050 years. So, how this has got relation to the Jesus' second coming, we will see next week. Okay? Okay, brother? Okay, brother. Okay. So, I'll send you the notes. Go through the notes of the Gentile times as well as this uh, chronology. The next week, we will see how the second advent dates are calculated. Okay?